The Game Awards 2023 is coming up tomorrow, and obviously it's going to be a big show with a lot of speculation and rumors forming around it. On top of that, it's said to be three hours long, and we know that there have been reveals there in the past. Now, I do want to talk about what I think could be seen there, as well as some things on my wish list. But most of all, I do think that uh, a few of these things are super realistic and that it's reasonable to expect at least a couple of these. Before we get into that, if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that like button, share the video to keep the community informed, and subscribe if you're new. You can also consider becoming a member for $1.99 a month. Support the channel it goes a very long way as well. Now let's jump into this. Uh, we got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as number one on my list. I think that we are going to see a trailer for this game. It's one of the most anticipated games for next year. On top of that, it's coming in February 29th. So it's a perfect distance away for them to be promoting it, thinking it's going to be in December that we see it January and then February at the end of February it launches. So it makes sense for them to roll out more trailers for this game. And I think it's a perfect place to see it, right? The Game Awards is a huge celebration of video games. And FF7 Rebirth is in the category for one of the most anticipated games, which I do think it's going to win as well. So if anything, I feel like this is the game that's going to be here out of everything on this list. I feel like this is one of the most sure things of things to be here and on the same topic of final fantasy we also got the idea that final fantasy 16's dlc may be here there was a bit of a leak in terms of one of the voice actors talking about it coming soon and uh it, it looks like we could get some more information here at the game awards and on top of that they still need to talk about the pc port as well which may also be the perfect place for them to announce a trailer or a time frame when this uh pc port will be coming along with the dlc so for people who are still playing 16 or are done with 16 and want to jump back into that world, that'll be an avenue that we can explore. And being somebody like myself who loved Final Fantasy 16, the damn shame didn't end up on that, that uh, Game of the Year category, but it is something that is being highly anticipated. A lot of people want to jump back into 16, and this would be the perfect place for them to show that as well. So I do think Final Fantasy 16 DLC will be here as well. I would be surprised if it isn't, um, or if there isn't some sort, even if there was a PC trailer, something about Final Fantasy 16 will be here, whether it be the DLC announcement, maybe a trailer, who knows, or the PC port that's that's due to come anytime now. Well, I, I would imagine 2024 would make the most sense, um, being that the game will be a year out by the time it hits the summertime. Now, this next one is a big one. Obviously, Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Erd Tree. Guys, this is a massive game we know Elden Ring is huge it won game of the year last year it's undeniable right it's undeniable that it's one of the biggest titles I think we will begin to look at the trailer for DLC for the DLC Shadow of the Earth Tree makes perfect sense that it would be here I think that being that they've shown a lot of stuff at Jeff's shows before you know the armored core thing as well I could see them coming back for Shadow of the Earth Tree which I think will be awesome I really am looking forward to this DLC I feel like you know, it'd be nice to be able to jump back into Elden Ring uh, for a new reason, for some new content. A lot of people are still playing the base game, which is really impressive considering it's been over a year that it's been out. But yeah, it still has a lot of players and a lot of people still jumping into the game. So Shadow of the Earth Tree is definitely something that a lot of people are going to be excited for as well. And that's something that I hope we see here at the Game Awards tomorrow, at least. That's what I believe will happen. I think these are things that definitely will end up showing up and lastly on the things of things i think will show up or are very likely to show up is death stranding 2 obviously kojima and jeff are very good friends no doubt about that i feel like death stranding 2 is likely to get a trailer here i think it's time for us to see another look at death stranding 2 maybe a release here at the very least and this would be the ideal place for him to show it as he has a great connection with Jeff, right? And obviously, Kojima is known to show off some of his games at Jeff's show. So it, it all makes sense, comes hand in hand. Now, let's talk about games that I think would likely not be there, but games I really, really want to see there. And there's two titles that come straight to my mind. First one being Final Fantasy IX Remake. Guys, we've talked about this game so much in terms of leaks, alleged leaks, the Nvidia leaks. There are so many reasons to believe that Final Fantasy IX Remake exists, but yet we have not seen anything about this game just yet. It is likely too soon to see this game if, if, if it does exist, which I believe it does, um, but I, especially if they're already showing FF7 Rebirth in the 16 DLC. I highly doubt they're going to show IX Remake as well. It's just it's so much Final Fantasy goodness at once in one event, but uh, also because it's a little soon, right? Rebirth isn't even out the door yet. We've got DLC in the works. We've got a PC port in the works for 16. And on top of that, you know, Final Fantasy IX Remake's existence is still not confirmed. So I think a lot of it is 
unlikely in terms of its its chances of being there uh but i do think if this game does exist uh and it's not here which i like again it's wishful thinking that, it, that it'll be here we'll probably see something or at least know something about it more so in 2024 but i think we're getting there i think definitely after rebirth is out the door it's more and more likely that we're going to end up seeing this come to fruition now lastly grand theft auto 6 obviously a big massive trailer that dropped uh, earlier this week and it was by no means a small uh, deal you know a lot of people saw it it got leaked earlier people were so excited it, it's smashed pretty much every record in terms of viewership and engagement uh, for a trailer that, especially a video game trailer on YouTube so there's there's a lot of excitement about Grand Theft Auto 6 but naturally we haven't seen much right it, it didn't really give us too much of an insight to what's going on on top of that the 2025 release date makes room for a ton of time in between now and and release so i don't know maybe in a in a strange world we get trailer number two at the game awards uh, but i don't know if that'll actually happen because rockstar is capable of just pulling it off on their own they don't really need anyone's show that's including playstation that's including xbox that's including a jeff's show i just don't think rockstar needs it so i that's why i doubted it would be here but god if this game was here it would be amazing to get another look at it and maybe more so on the gameplay aspect of things as good as gta 6 looks i want to see more i need to see gameplay what's that going to be like right what's the world going to be like what have they changed what have they added how have they gone beyond gta 5 and that trailer that we saw simply doesn't tell us anything in in, in regards to those questions at the very least obviously it looked beautiful i think the world looks vibrant I think the world looks great as far as Grand Theft Auto goes and what my expectations are in terms of the next level of like, I guess, graphics. If that's that wasn't all pre-rendered, it is hard to say whether that was all pre-rendered. I don't believe they disclosed that or if that was all in game or what that was. But regardless, it looked beautiful. I thought it looked gorgeous. The whole game, the aesthetic, the music, it, it, it was a great trailer. But I do think there's room for a lot more to be answered. And obviously Rockstar knows that. That's why they titled it Trailer 1, and hopefully Trailer 2 will be coming soon. I don't know if it'll be the Game Awards. I doubt it'll be the Game Awards. I do think we'll probably get a first quarter of uh, 2024, maybe first half of 2024. It's hard to say, like, the game's out in 2025, man. It's so far away. It's, it's hard to just, like, be like, oh, yeah, yeah, they'll give us four or five more trailers. I don't know, man. I really don't know when the next trailer could happen especially based on their history they seem a little unpredictable uh, at least according to my knowledge of them so i think there's not a great way for us to predict what what rockstar does with gta 6 but i would love to see it at the game awards even though i know it would overshadow everything i think it would be fantastic to see it there but i just don't think that'll happen but those are my expectations for announcements and trailers and reveals that we're gonna see and also my wish list of ff9 remake and grand theft auto 6 what are yours let me know in the comments as always if you enjoyed the video hit the like button if you did not enjoy the video hit the dislike button subscribe if you're new and share the video to keep the community informed i thank you all for watching take care